Saudi Arabia, it's an um, anchor, if you like, and this man has been talking all about defence and how important the whole team's defending will be in the next ten months. As Liverpool rain down the left-hand side, as Salah opens up a lot of space for himself, he doesn't need him, though. Cody Gakpo in the number nine position, back amongst the goals. He had a trail of defenders in his wake that he didn't need any assistance from Salah. And inside the first two minutes, Liverpool have a very early lead. Well, it's a blistering start from Liverpool, blistering start from Cody Gakpo. He did have the option to try and square it. I thought that was probably the better option. But when you're hitting the ball like what he's hit it there with his left foot, towering in there, he makes a... You can see here, he picks his, that position up there. He does that ever so well. We've seen that on occasions where he gets on that half turn. The simple little one-two. Bayern won't be happy with the defending, it has to be said. Maybe come out the traps a little bit slowly, but take nothing away from Cody Gakpo. This is a quality finish. Absolutely wonderful strike. Got his shot. Level up. Liverpool could be away again here. Mo Salah on that right hand side. Can Jota find him? He can. Salah all on his own for the moment. And it was a good block in the end from Kim Min Jae. And Bayern Munich just survive what would have been five minutes. Well, the director fussing off almost doesn't get it quite right, does he? The local station. The ball from Jota is just, it just lacks a little bit of pace for Mohamed Salah on Monday. So much to be encouraged about inside this first 10 minutes, but how can they defend this set play, Liverpool? Again, the same corner, all on his own against the post. Second opportunity there for Pavard that he puts over the top of the crossbar. They wanted to flag Liverpool. But they survived. Well, missed. We saw this corner against Leicester and Liverpool didn't defend it well with Jota at the far post. And whether he was offside or not, Pavard, it's, it's a tight one. But in all honesty, he should score. Certainly from the first header. Just tries to be a little bit too precise. Managing up so really everybody's fun about them. Serious job on here from the corner. Into that front post, and it's Virgil van Dijk who puts the cap on the armband from this week. They've worked ever so hard on these set plays this summer. He wants them to become that team that are unstoppable at set play. He had two to pick from as Joel Matip comes in, and he elongates that Liverpool lead. But Gary will tell you why it was so special. Well, here it is. It's a lovely little ball, isn't it? It's an like, inviting ball for a centre half to go and attack. What you have to say, it's not the best defending in the world from Bayern Munich. They give Virgil van Dijk just a little bit too much momentum to run into. And if you're six feet five and you've got the, the run on somebody, more often than not, you're going Jump to get the lead. Somebody, and then it's all about directing the header. And from that sort of distance, it's no problem to that man. The six from time to time, but you think that could be his most dangerous I think position for, for him? From what I've seen so far, I think... McAllister, uh, in forward roles, he's, he's more efficient and more beneficial for Liverpool than uh, certainly in deep lying roles. Don't get me wrong, I think he, he's, he's multi talented, like the, the fellow. I think he can play either or, but from Liverpool's point of view. Ball over the top there for Gnabry, it was a really smart one as well, and so is the finish. Liverpool look for the flag for the moment. But the direct ball from Kim Min Jae caught Liverpool out in the position that Bayern Munich have found most fruitful so far today and their brightest spark Serge Gnab has put Bayern Munich back in the game again well I think looking from that replay for me he's offside but the officials have well I wouldn't say they've been the best so far pre-season games here at Singapore there was questions whether Joe Mata did handle it as well it was all just a little bit too easy but Saying that, say off. Jay, they're wearing uh, number three, as we mentioned at the uh, the top. His um, first appearance in buying colours the other night, fifth season in a row that they've signed the centre back. There was a bit of interest from Manchester United in him, but Bayern Munich was the eventual destination. Again, the left hand side of Bayern Munich is where they see most fruit being born here. And Gnabry has loads of time and loads of space to pick out the man at the back post, Sane who levels the game up here, and it was just a bit too easy for Bayern Munich there. And just prior to the break, 
Liverpool with a few more questions to answer at the interval from Jurgen Klopp than perhaps they had after racing into that early lead. Well, they just get a little bit isolated, Liverpool. I thought Joe Matip maybe should have come across a little bit earlier to try and engage Gnabry. It just allows Gnabry to pick the ball up and run at him. In doing so, he allows them to go all the way into the 18-yard box. And it's just a case of him getting his head up and picking the right pass. The right pass was to Sani, and the finish was, well, finds the back of the net. And at this stage, the manager is probably just hoping that everybody gets on the plane without the need of any crutches or ice packs. He will be concerned about Alexis McAllister, though, who limped off at the end of that first half. It's a lovely ball from Simicast looking for Mo Salah. Run is also from Harvey Elliott. Smart feet from Diaz, what a finish. Really were deserving of that goal, Luis Diaz, for the amount of running and endeavour he's put in since he's come on the pitch. We saw it in Germany. We're seeing it again here in Singapore. The end product is improving. Again. We... Luis Diaz gives Liverpool the lead. Well, it's brilliant because he starts to move off with that diagonal there. Doesn't rest on his laurels. You can see there just in the middle of your picture, bursting into the box. But that's the one that, that's the touch that makes it. The ball from Mohamed Salah is really well weighted. Bit bouncy and that touch is absolutely exquisite. And that's the one that sets up what is a simple really task to put it past Ulrich in the Bayern Munich goal and Liverpool back on level terms. Manager, I'm sure, will be more than delighted with that really top-class okay. goal. Curls one into the mixing pot. Again, it's Simakas in the way. And we have seen, aside from playing at left-back, just slotting into that midfield position. It's a quick play from Bayern Munich and it Again, was a shot on the uh, goal of Alison Becker from uh, Gravenberg. And it was a good hand from the big Brazilian in front. Well, it's a great save. It's a neat little one too, isn't it? Young star, the young fullback coming on. And then again, Alison Becker oh. come with experience and, and working obviously with the best players and the best coaches. Didn't he do well there to turn the defender and he's away into the natural habitat that he loves best. He's beat the fullback. What's the decision like here? Bobby Clark, almost, almost. And the other games in there under 19s domestic season. He's got a decent strike rate in the under 19s for them. The youngster on the ball now. Set play and a free header as well coming in, and the header from De Ligt finished off via the push out from the uh, the goalkeeper Alison Becker and it's Josip Stanisic the uh, young defender in their friendly at the weekend the Croatian and it's a bit of a horror show really from a defensive uh, point of view for Liverpool oh the lick gets a free head up which when the ball travels this far it shouldn't happen and in fairness to Bayern they work it well it's a decent head up the lick but then the rebound coming off Alison Becker, he's got nowhere really to punch that. There's no way he can punch it wide. And punching it straight out into the middle. Bayern Munich get the benefit. Half -half. Canate was making there exactly to the players. There's not really an awful lot to hit for them at the moment. Clark was asking a lot of Diaz, but then Diaz is equal to it. He's in again here. Darwin Nunes somehow manages to not slot in Liverpool's fourth goal when the goalkeeper was definitely second favourite. Well, beautifully created again, Diaz shown fantastic feet. You're delaying that work call another four minutes just in case there might be something else to talk about here. What an effort on goal that was that will settle the game in the end from a Bayern Munich point of view. Franz Kratzig, the youngster, wasn't even on the squad sheet in the lead up to this uh, tour. And he can't quite believe that he's managed to win the game for his team in the closing stages, probably, of this game. Shot on his left foot, and nothing Alison Becker could do about it. Well, as goals go to win games, it's quite special for the young man. Again, there may be questions whether he was offside or not, but take nothing away from him. We've seen him come on at substitute. He's played really high up the pitch as a left fullback. And this is a wonderful strike to be a goalkeeper like Alison Becker. I don't think Alison Becker's quite expecting him to pull the trigger so early. It catches him a 